So today is gonna be a chit chat get ready with me because I haven't done one in ages and I miss talking to you guys so much. Oh, I've just been working like a crazy person and just settling down in Copenhagen and everything like that but there's so many things that I want to talk to you guys about and all of my thoughts and feelings about moving and so on so I'm just gonna talk to you guys while doing my makeup and hopefully you'll find this fun and yeah I don't know let's get into it I'm always so weird with my intros I'm so sorry guys as you hopefully can tell already now I'm already wearing foundation because I'm doing a first impression and it is on the Laura Mercier Silk um, Cream Moisturizing Foundation. So if you want to know how I feel about that foundation, you'll have to wait for that video. But we're just going to move on to some concealer. And I'm going to use the um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Complete Coverage Concealer. This one is in the shade Medium Neutral. And this one suits me so, so well when I'm wearing um, fake tan. So that is really nice. I use it both under my eyes and on pimples or whatever spots that I've got. I don't really struggle with any problem skin at the moment so I'm just using concealer because I feel like it <laughs> um, but also just because I don't know. At the moment there's just so many great things going on. I've got my new network, a new manager, new management and they are so nice. Ever since I moved to Copenhagen I've just been so happy and there's been a lot of things going on and I've already met so many of you Copenhagen girls and guys out there and it's been so nice getting to meet you and you guys welcoming me to Copenhagen and just being so nice and welcoming. It's been an incredible couple of days if I must be honest and I already feel so at home here. I mean, I was kind of scared about being away from my family and some of my close friends from Allboy but honestly the transition has been so incredibly easy for me because all of you guys here in Copenhagen you're so welcoming, you're so happy and bubbly and outgoing and it just ah, it makes me so happy even talking about it. So I just really want to thank all of you guys for being so nice, so supportive and just yeah just being you honestly. And I'm already talking way too much but that is the thing with these get ready with me's or chit chat get ready with me's. I'm a talker, just to let you know. I'm also just gonna use some excess on my eyelids as well. I went from looking like a zombie to a normal human being in no time. Thank you, concealer. Next up, I'm gonna be using my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder, but I'm almost out of it, so I need to get some out into the lid. And today I'm not gonna be baking because I just don't feel like it today. I'm just gonna be setting my under eye area. Oh, I've got nothing left. And I'm gonna be using my Morphe G2 brush for that. And even though I'm not baking today, I still love using the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder for my under eye area because it's so lightweight and also I really feel like that it brightens up under the eyes as well. I love that. Such a great powder, but now let's move on to some bronzer because I feel like I need some life in my cheeks right now. I'm gonna be using the the Bomb Bahama Mama bronzer because I've just fallen in love with this bronzer. I don't know what it is, but I just love it. And I'm using my Mac 168 brush, I think it's called. And let's just get some on. And the look that I'm gonna go for today is probably a kind of gothic but still fresh makeup. That did not make sense. <laughs> what I'm trying to tell you guys is that I think that I want to wear a dark slash black liquid lipstick today. Um, so that's the feel that I've got for today and maybe also just a very bold winged liner. I think so. So that is probably the look that I feel for today and I know that sounds so weird but I just want to wear something dark. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And because I want to wear a tiny bit heavier lips and so on, I just really want to bronze up my skin so nicely so it is totally ready for that dark look. For usual, I'm just going to be using my Benefit Brow Woe Conditioning Primer. It just sets them down from the very beginning. It gives you the right shape of the brow as well and yeah, it just makes everything much better. 
And right now I'm actually trying to grow out my brows a tiny bit more. I don't know why, I just feel like it. So my brows are a tiny bit messy and I haven't tweezed them in forever. So please bear that in mind guys, they are a bit cray cray. But I like that. We're going the Cara Delevingne way. I wish. I wish more than anything, more than life, I wish. It was washed into the woods. They already now look so much better, but we still need to do something because I love doing my brows. I'm gonna be using my um, Bobbi Brown Lower Brow Gel in the color Blonde. And this is actually one of my favorite things for my brows at the moment. It is so quick, simple, easy to use. It is waterproof, sweat proof, all of that jazz, and just so freaking amazing to use. I love it. People are often asking me, what do you spend the most time doing when it comes to your makeup? It's my brows, for sure. I spend so, so, so long doing my brows because I just feel like they're so freaking important to the entire face. If you don't do your brows well, everything else just really doesn't matter, honestly. I'm just like, they mean so much to me. Brows are everything. Mm, one brow is done, and now the other one. Just look at the difference though. Cray cray. Stop texting me when I'm filming. What else do I have to update you guys on? Um, oh yeah, apartment tour probably. Um, it's still gonna be a while till I'm gonna do the apartment tour. It will come, but I just want it to be perfect before showing you. I hope that you get what I mean because I want to show you like my perfect like dream home and already now I love my apartment I've said that so many times already but still I just wanted to be perfect when I show you due to my move and everything like that I just haven't had the time to go on holiday this year unfortunately hopefully later on this year I'm gonna go somewhere but for right now I'm just gonna work my ass off and just settle down in Copenhagen and so on and yeah how do I feel about that? I do miss the US so very much. You know that I've got a love relationship with the US and it feels very, very weird not going there this summer. And um, yeah, looking back on photos from last year, I'm just like, <laughs> it is so sad just being here in Denmark, just feeling like crap because the weather is crap and just, yeah. Um, but once again, hopefully later on this year, I'm gonna go somewhere. Don't know if it's gonna be the US, fingers crossed it's gonna be. I'm popular today, huh? So we're even further up close and honestly with my eyes today I'm just gonna go very very simple some matte eyeshadows and then a bold winged liner That's what I want to do and because I'm freaking lazy and I can't be bothered finding anything else I'm just gonna be using the concealer as an eyelid primer because once again I'm not gonna do any cray cray stuff with my eyeshadows today so this is gonna do and this is a great tip actually because if you don't have the money to spend on a great primer for the eyeshadows just use your concealer it works really really well and it evens out any redness or veiny things going on on your eyelids however I would still advise you to pick up a good eyelid primer if you want to do some crazy makeup looks and to set everything down I'm just gonna be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder as an eyeshadow because it doesn't really give off any color and it just sets down everything so nicely and keeps everything matte as well. I still feel like that I need a tiny bit of definition in my crease so I'm just gonna be using the Stila in the light palette and I haven't used this palette in ages. And I'm gonna use a color called Bliss right there. It's matte. Secret to good eyeshadow, it's blending. Mm, I still want some more definition. I think I'm just gonna be using Sandstone right there. I'm just taking a tiny bit, especially in my outer corner. So we can really get defined crease without being too much still. And I love a defined crease, you know that. I always do kind of like a soft cut crease on myself because I think it looks really, really nice. 
I feel like that it really opens the eyes. Now I'm just gonna use a mix between ebony and sandstone, so the dark shade up there and the brown shade under my eyes, just to define a tiny bit more and give a bit more of a grungy look. And now we're gonna do the wing liner. And as I said, I'm gonna do a bold liner today. I'm not sure how big it's gonna be, but we'll wait and see. I'm gonna be using the Clinique Pretty Easy Liquid Eyelining Pen firstly. I always feel like that I've got a good eye and a bad eye for liner. This is my bad eye. It is always so difficult for me. I don't know why. Hopefully I'm not the only one feeling like that. And now for when I'm doing the wing, I'm just going to be using my Sigma um, Standardized um, Gel Liner in the color Wicked. It's just a totally black one. And I'm going to be using the Sigma Wing Liner Brush. It's called E06. A teeny tiny wing liner brush. So great. And after this, let's get some mascara on. I'm gonna use the Bobbi Brown Smoky Eye Mascara. Love it so very much. And for the lower lashes, you know me, I'm gonna be using the MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. No. Ugh. So annoying. I hate it. And when such things happen, when you touch your skin with your mascara, please wait until it's totally dry. So many people they are like, oh, I need to remove it instantly, but don't do that. When it's dry, it's much easier to remove because it gets a bit more crumply. Let's try to see. You see that just with a Q-tip? and then it's gone. As I told you guys in the beginning, I want that gothic look and right now my eyes are very sultry and dark without being too dark either. Um, so we're gonna top off this entire look with my Anastasia liquid lipstick in the color called Midnight, which is a complete black one. I wanna overdraw my lips a tiny bit because let's be honest, when you want a really dark color, you wanna have some nice juicy lips. To outline my lips, I'm gonna be using the, the Body Shop Smoky Black Eye Definer. Just in a black color as you can see. And then let's just get some on. <laughs> oh, it looks crazy right now. It's gonna look good. Oh, dear Jesus. And now I'm just gonna fill in my lips with the liquid lipstick from Anastasia. Oh, I love it already. And just to clean up in the aisle, <laughs> or just in the outer part of my mouth, I'm just going to be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer because it really conceals everything and I can get a much more smooth ring. I don't know if you get what I mean, but it's just going to look much more precise and sharp. Oh, I love dark lipsticks on me. I think it looks so fierce, but as you can see, the thing that I've got on my cheeks now, it looks like absolutely nothing, so I have to get some more bronzer on. 
And to this sort of a makeup look, I don't feel like that a blush really suits this look. So I'm gonna use the um, blush called Harmony from MAC. So it's not really a blusher, it's more like a contour shade. Um, but just to give a tiny bit more of that blushy color. And lastly for highlighter, because I still feel like this look really needs a highlighter because I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna use the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette called Shimmering Skin Perfector Press and I'm gonna use Opal, so the pale one right there. And you can get Opal separately as well, I just have it in this palette. Nose as well. And I'm gonna use MAC Harmony just to contour my nose a tiny bit. And this is the makeup done guys and now disclaimer I'm gonna be doing some poses and yes they're gonna be very out there and that's just the way I am. Deal with it. to check it ready with me this is the outcome of the makeup a kind of gothic look I guess and I just love it because my eyes are already so freaking black so that that thing together oh it's just mm. <laughs> uh, but yeah thank you so very much for watching if you like this video please give it a huge thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I'll see you guys very soon I love you all to the moon and back and everywhere else